Hi everyone, um, Amy Hedges here, the founder of Forgotten Oklahoma, and I thought I would give you all a um, quick update on my uh, the Riverside home in Pawnee, the one that I am planning on turning into a bed and breakfast. Um, you guys, a lot of you are following along kind of with my story here. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to kind of give you an update because we've made some progress in the last few days on cleaning it up and doing some demolition and those kinds of things. And so um, last time I think that I gave an update, we were kind of had worked on the yard and, um, you know, cleaned up a bunch of the trees and the brush and stuff. And so, uh, we filled up a couple of dumpsters and I was just going to do like a quick walkthrough of the downstairs because we had a crew come in and, um, they have cleared out all of the old paneling and basically gutted the inside down to the plaster. And so that way we can kind of get a look at, you know, what we're dealing with. Um, I did have my rock guy out here yesterday and um, the one that fixed my building in Pawnee and he came out and took a look at it and said that a lot of the stuff should be easy fixes. Um, and so I'm going to turn the camera around and just kind of show you guys what we had today, what we did today. Well, I say we, but it was a hired crew. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Swap the camera. Okay. So here we are. This is the pile that has come out of the inside of the house. So this is the second dumpster we filled. The first dumpster and half of this dumpster was just from the junk outside. So as you can tell, we're already gonna need to get another dumpster. Ryan's gonna bring his tractor out here and then fill it up, fill it up with the rest of the stuff because this is all the paneling, carpet, you know, basically anything that we're not gonna save. Um, and that way we could kind of get a look at the, you know, at the plaster. Um, JT, I see your question. This is the, the Riverside home in Pawnee that I just bought a few weeks ago that I'm turning into a bed and breakfast. So um, here's the house itself. You guys can kind of get a good look at that. We've got to come out here and mow again because the grass is already like growing up 10 feet tall. But we've done a lot of tree trimming and um, we've got a pile of brush over there. So, okay, I'm gonna kind of walk inside and show you guys what it looks like now that we've got a lot of that ugly stuff out of here. Um, so, we got the carpet out. The wood floors are in fairly good shape, honestly. Um, some of them are not that great just because there was leaking and stuff in the, in the home um, the, from the roof and around the chimney area but this is the living room and this one was covered in that wood paneling from like the 60s and so it's got wallpaper um hanging down which we're gonna have to rip down but the drop ceiling is also gone we had the drop ceiling taken out so it looks so much bigger now so much brighter in here um the old nasty carpet is gone which i need to sweep <laughs> but it's like 100 degrees in here um also something we just discovered, see this area right here was covered with paneling. Well, we just realized that this was actually a big double doorway and I don't know if this was like French doors or something going into this room or if it was just a doorway kind of like what's going over here to the, um, to the dining room. And so I don't know if we're gonna just leave it as like, an, like a, just a doorway um, or if we're going to put some French doors in there, because really I was thinking that this room over here might, we might turn it into a bedroom for the bed and breakfast. But we're also, we figured out that there was a doorway coming in from the foyer area that was covered up at one point in time. And so I definitely want to take that out and make a doorway there too. And as you can see, a lot of the original trim is gone. Some of it was still intact underneath the, um, oh, underneath the, uh, wood paneling, but for the most part, it is gone. Um, however, you can tell that the, around the windows, the curved plaster looks pretty good and most of it, um, we just need to get down the wallpaper so we can kind of see the plaster behind it. Here's the next doorway over here. I'm trying to go slow because I'm not a good filmmaker. <laughs> um, let's see, we're gonna go into this room next. This one eventually will also be another bedroom. Um, it looks horrible right now. This, I think they had probably had their washing machine here, and so it leaked and ruined the floor in here. And so, um, as you can tell, it leads a lot of a lot of work. So that door right there goes out to the addition, which we are going to bulldoze, and we're going to build a whole new 
um, kitchen and bathroom because that's where the kitchen and bathroom were. I'll just show you guys a little peek in there. It's kind of hard to get in here because it's really bad, but that goes down to the basement right there. This is the outside door. This is actually the original rock wall where they added on to the house, to the original house. Um, there's the bathroom that's caved in. And then there's the kitchen, which I'll go around the other side and show you guys. So, let me go this way, back to the dining room area. Let's see, most of the original doors are here too, which really makes me happy. So this is the dining room. Um, as you can tell, old wallpaper, there is some um, trim missing in here too. This door right here was actually covered up and made into a window and they had a window air conditioner in it. And so it has leaked into the floor. Um, good news is this will have access for the rock guy to get underneath there and add some bracing underneath the floor for this outside wall because this outside wall here is leaning. And as you can tell, it does not look good. Um, but I had Mike out here last night and he thinks he can fix it. Some of this is just plaster that's like leaning out because it's broken. Um, let's see. And then we had a surprise today. So we, there's a chimney in here and it was covered by paneling. Well, the whole area next to it was covered by paneling and we realized there's some hidden shelves in here. So I'm super excited. Built-in cabinets here. Um, my sister-in-law and I came out here and um, pried them open because the doorknobs are gone on them. But yeah, some really cool built-in shelves right next to the chimney. And I don't really know, I don't have any idea if these are original or you know, they may have built them in later just for that space right there next to the chimney. I have no idea. Um, so, this is the, I'll show you guys the kitchen, which this is the part we're tearing off. Um, let's see. Out here is the old screened in porch. I think I showed you guys this before, but there's the shot of that door from the other side where they had the window unit. This deck right here, we want to build it out further, maybe put like a hot tub out there. So when you come to stay, you can sit in the hot tub. Um, let's see. Kitchen, this will all be gone, rebuilt. This is the stairs going, um, this is the stairway from the kitchen going upstairs and they did rip the carpet off of it. And then there's a couple of rooms upstairs where they took the paneling out, but it's like 100 degrees up there, and it's not very exciting. So I'll wait to show you the guys that another day whenever we have more fun stuff going on upstairs. But so far, this is the this is how where we're at for now. Um, kind of in a holding pattern um, until we can get some bids together, and then kind of see where we're at financially. We got to get the windows done ASAP. Um, so yeah, this is a, a lot of work ahead of us, but what a neat place. Um, again, for those joining us, this is the Riverside home in Pawnee that I bought a few weeks ago. This was built by Oren Worrell here in Pawnee. He was one of the founders of Pawnee. Um, he is bar actually buried here in Pawnee. He was a civil war veteran. And so this place was quite the show place in its day and just needs a lot of TLC now. So um, anyway, let's see. I just wanted to thank you guys. Um, I've had a lot of donations come in the mail um, and also on Venmo and Cash App and stuff. And I just wanted to thank everybody that has donated. You really didn't have to do that. I um, I don't know. I've got some fundraisers coming up. We're going to do some t-shirt sales and um, maybe a couple of other fundraiser type things. But I really, really just want to say I appreciate all of you that have donated some money towards this project. And um, I just wanted everybody to kind of see <clears throat> an update of where your money is going because it is 100% going into this house. <laughs> so um, anyway, I guess that's all for today. And as soon as we have something else exciting out here that I will let you know. So I will talk to you soon. Thanks.